Hello, welcome to this lesson of Algebra 1. We're going to talk about solving formulas for variables, and that's kind of a weird sounding title. And here you're going to finally be able to use some of the things that you've learned in algebra for something really, really useful. So, for instance, let's talk about the concept of what a formula is. Here's a, a formula that you've probably seen somewhere in your studies. C is equal to 2 pi times r. What do you think that means? Now, some of you may or may not have seen this, but most of you probably had have. And it is the formula for the circumference of a circle if you know its radius. So if you have a circle and you know its radius, then you take the, whatever that radius is times 2 times pi, and then that gives you the distance all the way around the circle, the circumference. So here's the deal. If you know the radius, you stick it in here and multiply it by 2 pi, you get the circumference. That's great. But what if you want to go backwards? What if you know the circumference of the circle and you want to calculate the radius? How do you do that? Well, see, this formula is called a formula because it's set up to calculate something. So you plug in the stuff on the right-hand side, and it calculates the stuff on the left. But what if I asked you, what if I said, hey, solve this formula for r? Now, before algebra, you'd have no idea how to do that. If I gave you the circumference and you, and you want to calculate and solve for r, you wouldn't know how to do that. But now, you actually know enough to do that. So let me ask you this. If I want to solve for r, how do you do it? You want to get r by himself on both sides of the equal sign. Now r is over here with 2 times pi times r. So how do you get rid of the 2 and the pi? Um, well, let me rewrite everything kind of underneath so I don't, you know, kind of destroy what I've written above. 2 pi r. Um, well, what I can do, since this is basically multiplication going on over here, I can divide both sides by 2 pi. 2 times pi is what you're doing. 2 times pi. Right, because I can do any 